Hi, it's me, Cynthia, with the Gala Inspired Ragdolls. As you can see, in this particular video, I am going to show you how I constructed this beautiful, solid ragdoll. She has no clothing on because we need to construct a solid, good ragdoll. Have her legs on, and I will go through putting her undies but right now the most important part is constructing the rag doll this is your outer skin and in order to make that outer skin to be able to stuff it properly and make that nice head where she can sit up we have now got to pull out our patterns and if you have gotten your tutorial and ordered your pattern your patterns are coming to you on eight and a half by eleven printout paper so when you go to your printer you should using the pdf form be able to have this printout this is the upper body, pattern A. Here's your lower body, pattern B. In order to get a full-size doll, I had to put them on two separate sheets. We will cut each one out and connect pattern A to pattern B so that you will have this full head, chest, waist, and lower body the arms and the legs they are the same but note I have two on each paper you will need those because we'll need arm one and arm two and you need two pieces of fabric to sew them together so that skin can be stopped you also have the legs, same pattern, put two on there. I like my girls to be long-legged, so I made some long-legged rag dolls, and I've even put the extension in there so you can have the long-legged rag dolls. And I will tell you the measurements of your long-legged rag dolls, because if you want them long-legged, you can add on any extra length you want but let's be wise about it you don't want them too long you want them just long enough so they can dangle and so i'm going to show you the measurements the measurements from the legs to here is at 11. that's long enough from the toe to the to her connection which is right here is at 11. So, when you get ready to make your long like a doll, you know, measuring this one, oops, I'm sorry, let's turn that tape measure around. This measurement right here, from tip of the toe to the opening area, is at 9. So, we need to add 3 more, 9, 10, 11. So, we're going to take our extension. And we're going to extend it where we had 11. And we're going to come one more. And that will make 11. And I'm going to do 11 and a half just for inserting more in there. Okay, so therefore, there's your 11. So you would tape these two together, and that will give you your long-legged dog. Let's cut out our pattern. That's the most important thing to do. And get our pattern all ready. Once we have all of our pieces all ready, then we're going to go get that piece of fabric, that upcycle piece of fabric. If you do not have anything that you want to upcycle, I'll also show you how to get your new fabric, which is double knit jersey fabric. 
But let's upcycle. For your very first rag doll, they're called rags, dolls, let's upcycle from our closet because I know you have a pair of black stretch pants that got kind of linty on one side, got a little hole on one side, and you can't give them to goodwill, but we can make our first rag doll. And we're going to start by using an old garment to upcycle. Let's get started. <laughs> 